short presentation, and that is the um, Young Republicans presentation. Yeah. And the uh, panel. It's going to be incredible. The, uh, uh, several people signed up to go to uh, the boat roof with Joe Trillo. If you signed up for that, you need to leave at this point. Go get on your, uh, your voting clothes. The, uh, but hopefully the rest of you will remain. The uh, Young Republicans put a lot of time into, uh, into uh, talking about it. Uh, so let me have uh, Brittany McKinney, Matthew Boucher, and uh, Ryan Neal Young. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Neal One. I just figured I want to keep talking. Neal Young. Sure. Hey, Ryan. Also, anybody in the back who wants to move forward, feel free to move forward. How is everyone? We're, we're going to do this. Let me, let me uh, set up. We're going to do this panel just like we did the first one. We have a little bit shorter. They're going to talk for, uh, I think, three to five minutes each or so, and then uh, and then have questions. But I can, as you heard all morning, and obviously we all realize that all of us are getting older, and we won't be here forever. And nor I really want to be here forever working hard. I want them to take over, and I think all of us want the young people to take over. So it is it's truly important that, uh, that we encourage more young Republicans. It was mentioned in the high schools and everything else. So take note of this. Take it back to your community as to what's going on and, and help your young Republicans. We have three speakers uh, today, and obviously their bios are here. Uh, Brittany McKinney's from Washington, D.C. She is a financial advisor and tax consultant and very, very active in the YR organization in, um, in Washington, D.C. Matthew Boucher is a uh, campaign manager for uh, Food Act for U.S. Congress, who is sitting right over here, the uh, 6th District of Massachusetts, if I recall, and the, uh, very active, obviously, in New England and in, uh, and in Maine, and as well as Massachusetts, obviously. And, the, uh, and uh, Ryan Neal Lund is the uh, founder of the uh, Open Government Group, has worked in city government in Lake Forest, Illinois, and is currently working here in Rhode Island and, and helping to uh, coordinate young Republicans here in Rhode Island. So I'm gonna turn it over to Ryan, if I guess is speaking first. Sure. And you want the lights up or down? Uh, I think everyone can see this for here to get this okay. going on. How's everybody doing? You guys ready? Yeah, great. Yeah. 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 Well, we're gonna start by taking three different aspects on today. And we're gonna be talking about technology, event planning, and then taking those two and actually putting them to good use and putting them into some, uh, some campaign capital. We're gonna be going out and actually showing you guys how to take technology and also event planning and get votes with them. Uh, mine myself, I've got a great intro already. Thanks to Lewis, thanks to Gio, thanks to, uh, who else is here today? Jody was here. Thank you guys for coming out and giving us a chance to speak. It's great. Um, you already got my bio here in Rhode Island. I'm the Secretary of Offense for the Young Republicans here in Rhode Island. Uh, we started a great group, had a lot of help from Parker Evans and also uh, Travis Raleigh. Over those last three months, we've gained our uh, actual attendance so far with our group from 200 to over 500 people. In the state where we've got about six different uh, seats in the House, we're pretty excited about that. We're going to start rebuilding the future. Uh, I want to also turn it over and give a brief intro to our other panelists. And then, uh, as long as we can get the video going, I've got a quick demo for you guys. Um, well, Alex Lewis already introduced me. I'm Brittany McKinney, and I work in finance. Use the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany McKinney, and I work as a financial advisor and tax consultant in Washington, D.C., uh, where I also do some freelance writing and am the uh, event chairwoman for the D.C. Young Republicans, as well as the Chief Collaboration Officer for the GOP 2.0, which we'll be explaining a little bit more about here in a minute. Okay. I'm Matthew Boucher, and I uh, help remain. I'm Bill Kudak's campaign manager, and I'm the uh, tactical officer for GOP 2.0. We have a few big titles, so it's <laughs> better. And uh, he's going to be going over that in a couple seconds. And all right, guys, I'm going to talk about technology. Can everybody hear me? Yes. All right. Microphone's too much. I'm going to hear my real voice. Uh, I talked to an individual today, and uh, Lloyd kind of set me straight when talking about technology. 
there's a lot of people that want to go out and use you know, Facebook, use YouTube, go out and use these, these, these tools. And they're great, and they work. But the problem is that when you get into your, your maybe your local guy that's using technology on behalf of your campaign, maybe it's a local YR that's helping you out, you start to get disenfranchised a little bit. You've got to make sure these four different elements are central when you're using technology. And the first one, you have to know yourself. Who here is running for a campaign, or who here is active with a campaign? Raise your hand. All right, good, we got a couple. Do you guys, do you girls think it's valuable to do door knocks with me, myself, going as opposed to you, the candidate? You get some value on it, but you know, that, that potential voter wants to see you yourself. So if you go to Facebook, and all of a sudden you say, yeah, forget it, I don't want to deal with this you know, YouTube deal, I don't want to deal with this Facebook. And you have me doing your updates, that's just the same as me doing door knocks for you. People would rather see the candidate and interact with you. They'll know that personality gap. Yeah, they'll see, ah, some 20 year old wrote that. That wasn't Eric, he didn't write that. He wasn't at that meeting last night. So don't let technology be the disconnect between you and your potential voter. So do take responsibility. And that's really knowing yourself. When you go beyond that and you start looking at the market, you don't want to use Facebook as your delivery vehicle for a potential healthcare update to a you know, retirement home. <laughs> Chances are that those people are not going to be out there and get the message. So don't let technology you know, start to tamper with your unique message going out to the potential voters. The last one, know your opponent. What are they using? Are they doing the exact same Twitter and things that you are? Who cares? You guys have to go out and do research. It's easy. This is all now public information. Go out and see what the public's doing and, and your actual opponent and try and do something else. When you've got those three dynamics, you can take them and really break through that boredom barrier. And that's the last thing. Just don't do the 2002 Facebook profile. I mean, the, the young people here, we've seen them. We've been doing that since we were you know, in high school and college. Some of you guys are just figuring it out. You've got to take it to that next level and be able to use it to break through those, those, those standard profiles. And that's really the, the idea of technology. The idea is not just use it to its own end, but to actually bring it out of the cyber world into real life. And so once you're done with the technology, working with me and your campaign, you've got to go out and then find that local contact that can actually build real events for you. And so taking it out of the cyber world, we're going to talk with the DC YR chair, Brittany, She's going to talk about taking it from cyber to going out to real world event planning. Thanks, Ryan. Um, if you are under the age of 35, can you please raise your hand or stand up, if you will? Okay, well, thank you for the effort to be here today. Um, but uh, it's obvious that even though there's about a dozen of us here, uh, that number needs to grow exponentially if we're going to survive as, uh, as a party. Um, the stats are pretty scary right now. Out of all the under 30 voters, 60% are registered Democrats and only 33% are registered Republicans. So from age 18 to 29, that particular group by 2015 will be a third of the electorate. Um, so we obviously need to make some changes. What we're doing right now isn't working to capture the, the youth's attention. Um, so the technology is one thing, but we really need to start making it fun. Uh, I was talking last night actually with Dan Rowley and um, Bill Hudak about the importance of feeling motivated and being excited and generating that excitement. Um, that's kind of what, what we thrive on and look for and need from, from the party. So if we're gonna do that, we need to start making the campaigns, the fundraising, we need to make it a little bit more exciting and things that will attract you to come out and, and help. Um, I have a lot of ideas for, for how to do this, but just a couple quick ones. Um, one is, is contests, competitions. We love that, thrive on that. Um, so when it comes to door knocking or phone banking, if you make it into a, a contest of whoever gets the most, maybe wins a prize, maybe we get an invitation to an event that we normally wouldn't be able to afford the high dollar price to get into and spend time with local Republicans, um, those are, are great little things that you can do to make it more exciting for us to be involved. 